give you an idea of what Fasttune is going to offer you when it comes to learning how to tune engine management solutions. Now, to start with, we've got five basic modules that you're going to cover. And these cover a very broad array of topics. First of all, we've got fueling. We're going to give you the chemistry of fueling. How, to, how does combustion happen? What kind of, what's a stoichiometric air fuel ratio? We're going to talk about fuel delivery. How do we get fuel from the fuel tank into the engine? What, what types of injectors do we need to use? What are our injector sizes? How do we calculate that stuff? That's a whole module in and of itself, and it's quite extensive. But we've got a second module on fueling as well. We're going to talk about how to size the fuel system. How do you determine your fuel pump size? How do you determine your injector size? We're also going to teach you how to develop a basic fuel map from scratch. That's right, you'll have a blank table, and just knowing a little bit about the engine and the size of your injectors, you'll be able to actually create a basic fuel map that should get you up and started so you can begin tuning the engine at that point. We're also going to talk about different types of fuels and the requirements that you have. So whether you're going to use gasoline, ethanol, methanol, or even something else, we're going to teach you what you need to know to be able to effectively calculate and tune those types of fuels. And finally, we're going to talk about the phases of the combustion process. Not just how to burn the fuel, but what happens during the compression process, what happens during the burn, what happens during the blowdown process, uh, during the entire process of, of a four-cylinder combustion cycle. These are very important things to know because these fundamentals will provide you with the basis for making good tuning decisions when you're on the dyno or on the road. Now, module three is ignition timing. This might be one of the most important things you're ever going to learn because ignition timing is what's going to make or break your engine and your power curve. We're going to talk about developing the timing curve. How do you develop a safe timing curve and get started so that you don't end up getting into detonation the first time you begin to, to load the motor up? How do we initiate the combustion process? You know, what happens when we begin to, to create that spark and ignite that flame front uh, within the combustion chamber? Also, what is minimum spark advance for, for best torque, MBT? This is very, very important. It's a concept that every tuner should know. Basically, what it means is we want to have the minimum timing required to get our maximum torque. Anything more is just pointless wear and tear on the engine. We'll discuss burn speeds. How does the, the way that the, the flame front pop propagates through the combustion chamber, how does that affect what kind of timing we need? And that's impacted by the fuel type. It's impacted by the combustion chamber type. All these things are very, very important. And of course, we'll talk about spark plugs. You need to know how a spark plug works and also how to select a spark plug, how to gap a spark plug, and what that means to your requirements for in terms of ignition timing, coil dwell, all these sorts of things. And finally, on the ignition side of things, we're going to talk about detonation. Detonation is the, the engine killer more than anything else. And how to avoid that, how to recognize it, how to diagnose it is very, very important if you're going to tune an engine. Now, module four is a little bit broader of a topic here. We're going to talk about airflow management. So that means we're going to talk about boost, turbochargers, superchargers, wastegates. Uh, we're going to talk about boost control. We're going to talk about cam timing. How does altering our intake or exhaust cam timing, advancing, retarding, how does that affect the power curve? How does it affect our tuning requirements? How does that affect our ignition timing needs? We'll talk about nitrous. Nitrous is a great power adder, but it's fraught with danger if you don't know what you're doing. We're going to talk about how nitrous works, not just injecting nitrous, but what it does to the combustion process. We'll even talk about going into single, dual, or individual throttle bodies, one throttle body per cylinder, and how you have to tune that sort of, of intake system uh, versus more traditional things. Now, module five is the one that a lot of people are going to be really interested in because we talk about dyno tuning and road tuning. So dyno tuning, most of you know what it is. Road tuning, a lot of guys think, well, if I have a dyno, I don't need to do road tuning. But that's not the case. Road tuning is important even if you have a dyno because you need to diagnose things in the real world. And the best dyno made is still not the same as the road. You need to use both solutions. We'll talk about what you can accomplish without breaking any laws on the road. Certainly, you can do a lot of things if you're willing to speed or accelerate at a very high rate, but you can still do a lot of tuning on the road without breaking any laws. We're also going to cover the different types of dynos, uh, inertia dynos versus eddy current versus hydraulic loading. We'll talk about roller dynos versus hub dynos versus engine dynos. What do you need to know to use each one of these dynos effectively? Dynos are tools, and depending upon which tool you choose, you have advantages and disadvantages, but you can still tune your vehicle no matter what type of dyno you choose. And finally, how do you prepare your car to tune on the dyno? What do you need to do to make sure that you're going to get the most out of your dyno experience and get the best tune possible while you're on the dyno? So that's, those are the basic five modules in our, in our Fundamentals of Tuning course here. In fact, we offer a lot more than that too, but this is the best place for you to get started. Now here's the great thing about this. This is not just a lecture series. Yes, we've got PowerPoint presentations, and I'm going to go through and I'm going to be your instructor and teach you, just like we were in a classroom, how to go through and, and do the calculations 
how to obtain the data, how to learn all the basic fundamentals. But better than that, after each classroom session, I'm going to take you in the garage and on the dyno. And you're going to basically look over my shoulder as I tune a car. It might be just a short session where we talk about how to adjust a camshaft. It might be an extensive tune where we go start to finish on a fuel map. But you're going to see my laptop screen, you're going to see the dyno screen, and you're going to see what I'm doing in that car. So this is not just a classroom session. This is you get to look over my shoulder and you can look at it again and again and again until you understand the principles that you need to get on the dyno and tune a car yourself. So welcome to Fast Tune. I look forward to teaching you as much as I possibly can about how to tune cars.